You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey folks, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES 2014. I'm John P. And I'm Renee Ritchie. You're fiddling with your headset. I forgot to take my CES badge off and Callie threatened my life. All right, get your headset. Get your headset fixed. I'm getting my headset fixed. All right. And we are starting off day two. It's going to start just like that, folks. It's going to go downhill from here. That's right. Thanks so much for joining us again. I see we have hundreds of people in the chat room as usual, and thanks for all of you joining us on Ustream. Welcome, and welcome back to our continuing coverage. We survived to day two, John. We've yeah. proven we can do this. Well, I don't know that I would go that far. We have set expectations low enough that we, have, we can only exceed them. That's right, we can only go up from here. And speaking of raising our expectations, we have a very special guest. We have Hernan. How do, come on, Hernan. Oh, yeah, that was close. better. Hernan. 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 Hernan Lopez. Roll those R's on. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't Come know. On, Maybe John, the, do the Greek tongue wasn't made you for it. You need a little bit of salsa. Bite into Hernan. a jalapeno and say it. It'll, it'll come out. I promise. Anyway. Hernan. He's from QNAP. Thank you so much yes. for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We, awesome uh, oh, and not only thank you for joining us, thank you for helping sponsor and making all of this possible for all the coverage that we're doing. It's our pleasure. You guys do a great job. You guys, we follow you guys. We're big fans of yourself and Kelly. So, thank how you. How can we not? Thank you how very much. We well, we appreciate. It. It's a giant yes. love fest, and we'll have a kumbaya after the geek after hugs. The show. Right. Well, we wanted to talk a little bit about QNAP stuff since sure. we have you here. Why not? Fantastic. Right. Why not? Let's so we actually um, just recently, you guys sent us a couple of devices. You sent us this new bad right. boy. Mm -hmm. Um, the, and we also have another one over there, but we're going to talk about them a little bit. So sure. before we get into specifics, individual things here, sure. some people are saying, what is QNAP? What does QNAP do? Well, QNAP, first of all, the word itself stands for Quality Network Appliance. Network, quality Network Appliance Provider. So that's where the derivative of that name came from. Gotcha. So we, we are, we're a manufacturer. We manufacture our systems ourselves. It's our own operating system, it's our own, it's an index space, our own stuff. So from top to bottom, this is ours. So when you say ours. network appliance, what do you mean? If someone's just watching right now. Well, network appliance is, it's a storage system that resides on a network. And it could be a router, a switch, a network. And it's, it's not like, an, it's not like a, a attached storage system, per se, that goes into a laptop. So it's not the drive in your computer, it's not the USB plug you put no. on there, it's if you want to get that stuff out of your machine and onto your network. Exactly, and the reason, it, the reason we designed this is so users can actually get into the system via internet. So now you can access all your files, all your data, all your pictures, all your music, everything via internet, anywhere from around the world. Where an external hard drive, you can't do that. All right, let's talk about that for a minute because people are thinking about uh, how they would use a network appliance and and uh, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, well, it's a, it's a drive. It's a, it's a place to store my files. It's like backup. It's, yeah, you could back up your files to it or Correct. something like that. But what we're really wanting to do here is go beyond just sticking your files and making Correct. them inaccessible in some foreign location. Right, We're right. wanting to give them a usable place to put mm -hmm. these files right. where they can act on them repeatedly. Right, exactly. And you're right, John. When we first, when we first came out, um, 1994, when the company first started, that was, its, that was its true core. The core of, okay, where are we going to do with all this data we have? For example, each of these bays can house up to four terabytes. And this is, so now we're talking about system about eight terabytes, yeah. okay? So we thought, okay, what do we need what does is, what is the IT individual or IT user need? Well, they need storage, they need backup. And that was primarily why this thing was designed. Yep. But throughout the years, it started developing and unraveling into something else. People wanted more. People wanted more. They're like, you've already got my data, Correct. but now I want... Uh, Services. Uh, yeah, I want to be able to do stuff with my data. Exactly. And I now, want to run a DNS server. A DNS server. You've got a processor in there, why can't I just have a DNS server? Exactly. Why can't I have a media server? Why can't I just have a media server? Exactly, or a cloud. Yeah, a cloud. A personal well, guess, cloud, Well, though. guess what? This is a personal cloud. Right. You don't need to pay 
X company, you don't have to pay this person. You don't, this is your own cloud. I don't you have to give them my say. files. I can keep them. No. They're, By they're the way, yours. just so you know, right over there, that 470, that's a four bay unit. We Fantastic. actually are, that Gorgeous. is connected. We have a gigabit ethernet network here. Mm -hmm. That is connected into our network and we are right now recording this show onto a laptop, which as soon as it's finished, uh, as soon as our segment is finished, it will sync to the, to the QNAP, to QNAP cloud mm -hmm. and become available to all of our editors right. over here who are working behind us. Exactly. They can just grab that stuff and they can put it on their sites immediately. And that's what it's evolved to. And we didn't have to go to Dropbox or something out no. because we don't no. have the bandwidth. We have enough well, bandwidth to stream, well, but we how, don't have enough to send that kind of data out How about out the here. funds? How about the money you have oh, to and pay? And the cost. Yeah. The cost to pay yeah. for, for Dropbox or to send it to the cloud for Amazon or yeah. Elephant or you know any drive. Now you can do it yourself, but now you can do it without having to pay. And there's no bottleneck, there's no internet connection no. to get in your way. No, there isn't, because you're the, you're controlling it. Ultimately, Can we talk the, about this? Let's talk about it, sure. <laughs> this is a beautiful. Is this your precious, John? My precious. Mm -hmm. It is. This is a beautiful, this is the, this is the new uh, fanless design. I'm going to, let's see here, you can, sure, you can sure. play hand sure. model. There you and, go. Uh, this unit was designed to incorporate into multimedia kind of stations and things, right? Right. You it want is. to tell us about it? Sure, of course. What we're looking at here is our new HS210. And again, fanless, there's no moving parts, so there's no dust. And that's really important. Basically, what we this is actually created, this was recently created um, based, on, based on the applications of home use, of multimedia. Now you can imagine a NAS, let's say you have this thing sitting on, like I do, an yeah. entertainment <laughs> system. Yeah. So I got this thing sitting next to my television. So it's kind of a little, everyone's like, hey, what's it that? It looks a little out of place. It looks it enterprise, does. it doesn't it does. look so, consumer. Right, yeah. so we changed the form factor. So we changed the look, the feel of it. It's brushed aluminum metals you can see there. And it, it just, it's, it hides. It, I mean, it literally sits up there. And we designed this to look like sort of a, 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 like a component for a unit. Right, yeah. exactly. You'd have it in and your own so theater. And so now, and it makes no noise. But this one will do everything this one will do. Correct. That you run the same, same operating system, same among operating all system, of them. same everything else. This thing is also this thing is also um, hot swappable. This is for oh, it's hot swappable. It is hot swappable. You can leave it plugged in. Yes. Yank a drive out and stick another put one a, in. Put another one in there, and you're up and you're back up and running. Right. So yes, it does it does have the same features and functions. As a matter of fact, all of our NASAs have the same function, the same operating system, the same features, everything included in the large one. All the way up to our twenty-four, our new twenty-four bay system. And that's important because when you buy it, you never, you no matter how smart you are, you never buy enough storage. So it's got to grow as you grow. Right, and not only that, but what we thought of, okay, let's say, let's say, for example, a user or an IT professional, right? They buy one system. Let's say, okay, well, I, I, I love this two bay, right? So I bought this new two bay. I want it, like you said, I want to expand, yep. okay? Or I want to buy something different. You don't need to relearn an operating system. You don't need to take some more classes. You don't have to do all that stuff. You don't have already to get certified. know it. You, right. No, you don't have to get certified. You already know it, and that's important to us. And people say that. It's say, Heron, and you know what? It's really your your systems are easy to use. You know, they're easy to use, and they're they're we want them that way. We like them to be easy to use, easy to implement. The user to come in and make changes, and without having to go through all these steps. Well, I want to ask a question about this one. Okay, this is sure. a this is a nice uh, kind of uh, a more traditional design yes. chassis. Mm -hmm. It holds two bays, two drives, just like this other one. Correct, yes, this one is not going away. No, but why, in God's name, <laughs> does this have an HDMI output on it? Well, the reason it it's has- It's a the, NAS device. It is a NAS device. So why does it have an HDMI output? Because it streams high definition video directly from the system out to your television. So you can load movies, you can download movies. It has an HD station that plays high definition movies Straight to your straight television. To television. Straight to your television. So this thing All is work here. and no play, John. Now, again, so mind you, you. Wait, hang on, let me be clear. And music so as well. I don't need to have, for example, a, a Roku or an Apple TV or some other device that no. I then need to connect through the network to the NAS in order to play the movies. No. I'm just going to have this connected into an HDMI input on the TV Directly and just play. Correct. And can I that do it with correct. an app, or do I have to use a web interface? Uh, no, you can use, no, it's direct, it's direct. You can buy a remote control, it's 25 bucks, a QNAP remote control, you can sit there and talk with You have your, a QNAP remote control, a and you can play and skip control, and blah, blah, blah. And you can skip your movies and Oh, wait, videos. so you're telling me when I plug that HDMI into the TV, I get a menu on the TV and all that? You do get a that? menu. You get a nice menu, you can, you can actually browse uh, through 
Google Chrome. Mm -hmm. You can you can browse through YouTube as well directly straight from here. There's no reason to pop in you know a laptop or log in. You can just go in directly through your, through your television awesome. monitor. It's built right in, John, and that removes right. complexity from your chain. I see. Yeah, exactly. It makes things streamlined, and that's where that's where Control Four comes in. But that's because at home you don't home have automation. It's all tied in. It's all working together. It has the drivers now. You can work seamlessly. You can open your curtains, close your curtains. As a matter of fact, you can toggle through and look at the our NVRs, our network video surveillance systems, directly from the control system. To all be with able that to remote. Yeah, with one control, with remote control. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay, so what basically, um, we could talk about this all day. I, I do. I know, you do. <laughs> so, um, it sounds like to me, we've got the same OS among all the different units, mm -hmm. and we go from these two bay units up to, what's the biggest bad boy that I could get. The biggest right now that we can talk about, that we can discuss. <laughs> that we can talk about. That we can talk about is our new 24 bay NAS. So you could put 24 four terabyte drives in that thing. That is correct, yes. That's a lot. That is correct, yes. And Hollywood size. So it has a new Haswell processor, a multi-core processor. It's extremely fast. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a beast. I mean, it's extremely fast. So what you have to decide when you're considering whether, you know, if you decide, okay, I want to go ahead and get a QNAP, you need to decide how many drives do I need to be able to accommodate yes. and what kind of speed, mm -hmm. right? Because there, as right. you step up the line, you get faster and faster processors, you do. more you do. RAM. Because everyone's different. Yep. A home user, you know, someone that, that's, let's say a wife, for example, that needs to, that, that wants to house her recipes mm -hmm. or, or home finance, et cetera. She doesn't need that much storage, as per se, someone, a photographer, a professional photographer, a videographer. Or someone like Ken, our engineer, who wants as much power as he could possibly exactly. get. Exactly, so in that case, then you start looking at, okay, now let's look at the CPU. Okay, let's look at the 70 series. Look, we have a new, we have a new system that, that boasts an i3 processor uh, that, that allows multimedia processing a lot faster, comes with a um, more robust, more RAM used for multimedia. So in that sense, so you start shopping around and saying, okay, which one works for me? They do not come with hard drives. Right. They don't come with... It, it, Choose your own size. Exactly. Whatever you need. It's sort of SSDs, like... SSDs, no. hard drives. It's yes. sort of like a house that doesn't come with furniture. Mm -hmm. You pick you pick and choose how you want it to work, how much you want. So, and the reason we do that is because everyone's different. Whether you need, I don't know, 500 gigs or, or four terabytes, one terabyte, that's up to you. You know, that's up to you and what, what you're doing on a daily basis. Yes. Awesome. Your use case. Exactly. Yeah. I want you to stay all day, but unfortunately... We've got to we've got to I wrap it up. Stay. I can't stay. All I day. think you should I stay. Stay. I really don't want to go back to work. I, I, you <laughs> should stay and help us do the ne the other interviews. You know, and you can like translate to, I, to Spanish I, I for can. us and all kinds I, of I fun can, stuff. Yeah, I can be. And there. just be the man <laughs> eye candy that we have on stage. He's a good looking man, isn't he, folks? You know it's true. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hernan, Thanks, thank guys. you so much. <laughs> but before you leave, I yes. do want to let people know we actually have a giveaway. We do. Yes. We are going to give one of these little beauties away. Mm -hmm as well as a couple of backpacks. And all you have to do is head on over to geekbee.tv forward slash giveaway. And all the details on how to get entered are right there. So you guys stick around, go enter, and then come right back. Enter on a second screen so you can stay watching right. while you're doing it. Do not shut this screen down. Open another window, enter, and then <laughs> keep coming back because we've got a lot more coverage for you right here at uh, CES. Absolutely, we're chained to these desks, John. We are indeed. <laughs> Later, guys. Fantastic.